Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. I'm Eric and on today's show we're going to make roasted red potatoes. Roasted red potatoes are great because they go well with entrees such as roasted chicken, but they can also be used as breakfast food such as in breakfast skillets or even in burritos. So they're really flexible. Now let's make roasted red potatoes. So I've already cut most of the potatoes up. I just wanted to show on a couple of ones like this little guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and quarter him. It's that easy. So you just cut it once lengthwise. Gross. And then this is close enough. Um, this one's a little bigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut him kind of in thirds a little bit. And then I'll just cut them lengthwise. Whatever, crosswise. That's close enough. A five pound sack of red potatoes uh, fits evenly between um, two of the uh, cookie sheets. We've lined with parchment paper and we just want to spread these out so they're kind of a single layer. We're going to just add a little bit of olive oil. Um, I'm not going to drench or try to get it to where it's braising in the stuff, but I just want a healthy amount to give the spices something to stick to. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And one of my favorite ingredients is this Weber roasted garlic. It basically has some salt, garlic stuff in there. Um, it goes on pretty much everything. So I'm just going to be a little generous with that. And then some Herbs de Provence. Um, it's got all the good stuff. Uh, what, rosemary, cracked fennel, thyme, savory, basil, tarragon, dillweed, oregano. So uh, basically it's good on things like soups and vegetables and stuff. And I think it works really good on roasted potatoes. So these two are buddies. Uh, just for a little twist on things, we're putting some bell peppers and onions on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some uh, red bell peppers that I've previously sliced up. Some green bell peppers. And then I got some onions. I usually will put one or two bell peppers per cookie sheet and one large onion or maybe a couple of small onions. I don't really try to overdo it. And it gives it a really good flavor when it roasts up. And I think that's enough right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more olive oil to the top so that way the uh, vegetables I just added are included in there. Add just a little bit of pepper for those guys. The other thing you can do is um, you can take a Ziploc bag with some oil and the same uh, seasonings that you want and you can go ahead and pre-mix that and you can even let it marinate if you want ahead of time. Um, you just have to be careful not to add too much oil because when you add it to here it can maybe just you know sit in it next thing you know it's frying more than anything. So I think that's a good amount now. So I've already have um, uh, preset the oven, in this case a 425. Um, if we were cooking at 350, it would take about an hour to potentially 90 minutes to cook this stuff, depending upon how big the uh, slices or cubes or whatever these are. Uh, in this case at 425, it'll cook in about a half hour to 45 minutes. The only thing you have to be careful of is what seasonings you put on here. If you use a lot of garlic, that could possibly burn and then become bitter and stuff if you cook it too hot. So if you're using a lot of garlic, Cook around 350 or 375, otherwise 400, 425 should be good. In there for maybe 10 or 12 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and just give this a little turning a little bit. It's supposed to turn these things, you know, a couple of times during your cooking. So if you're going to estimate it's going to take you 30 minutes, then, you know, every 10 minutes flip it. If you think it's going to take you an hour, then maybe do it 20 minutes apart. Just gives chance to let everything brown evenly. As you can see, it's steaming really good. It smells great. You can smell the bell peppers and the onions really good right now. 
but it's nowhere near being done. The potatoes are done now. They've been in the oven for about an hour or so. Uh, we have a lot of potatoes in there. Uh, they're soft, they're brown. The whole house smells like potatoes right now. So we're gonna pull them out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a taste of Eric's roasted red potatoes. We're gonna get some potatoes, some of the onions, and a little bit of the bell pepper. Wow, it looks really good. Let's take a taste. Mmm, wow. These are really, really incredible. Mmm. The herbs taste good. They're not overly greasy. The um, onions and bell pepper really make just make this just outstanding. Mmm. I almost can't stop eating it. Wow. I would say, Eric, this is a thumbs up. Roasted red potatoes with bell peppers and onions. If you like this recipe, please subscribe below and visit our website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter at twitter.com slash amylearnstocook.